very recently, Meek sent me through a 12mm f2 manual focus lens for Fuji and asked me to do a review on it. Now, a disclaimer here is that they have not seen the video before you, so everything you hear in it is my opinion on the lens. And this is the lens in question. That there, that is it, that's the 12mm. This is a solidly built lens. Everything about it, metal lens hood, which you can probably hear, metal body as well. Now, it's a very small lens and it doesn't weigh much at all. It only weighs about 288 grams, I think it is. And it's a manual focus lens. As you can see, there are no connectors there at all for this. So you don't get any EXIF data for it. I like EXIF data in my images so that I can look back on them and uh, see how I actually captured the image. So that for me, that's, that's just one thing, but it doesn't deter or detract in any way at all from the lens itself. As I say, the metal lens hood is there and you'll just hear that hopefully above me coming off. So you can see the lens there, hopefully that focuses on the lens and that's it there. So you can see it's got quite a bulbous lens to it. And at 12mm with an equivalent focal range of about 18, I think it's a good option. It's actually a good option. The lens for me performed well in everything I did, right? It is wide. It is wide, so you've got to remember that. But one of the main things about it, it is very inexpensive. I think in America it's $189 and in what the UK where I am, I think it works out about £143. So it's a very inexpensive lens. And they also make other lenses in the range which again are very, very inexpensive. So if you're just starting out in photography, and you've got the Fuji system. They also make them for other systems as well. But if you've got that and you've got the Fuji system and you're looking just to try out other lenses, then perhaps the cost of the native lenses or uh, other well-known manufacturers is too much at the moment. It gave me some really decent sharp images, which I was surprised at. I'm not going to lie. I was actually surprised at considering the cost. For the images are good, great to carry around, great on the camera. I enabled highlight peaking so that I could see my focus and that my focus was correct. It also allows you to zoom as well when you're doing your focus and your highlight peaking. So everything for that is there. I do like really like my autofocus lenses, but I'm I suppose coming over to more and more manual focus lenses and I'm enjoying them. I really am enjoying them and I have enjoyed the time I've had with this uh, and some of the images I've taken with it as well. Yes, $189, it does have its flaws because you can't expect the world for that kind of price. That, that just doesn't happen. But if you're starting out in photography, it's a really good option, to be honest. If your budget is restricted, it is a good option. It will allow you to see what that focal length will do for your images. Some of the flaws that I found. Uh, with this, it's not as sharp as the higher end lenses. Again, that's to be expected. It isn't as sharp. Most of the images that you see on the screen have been resized to 2000 pixels in the long edge. And so you can see by that how sharp the image is. And don't get me wrong, that's also down to the user. So if any of the images are not that sharp, that's down to the end user, in this case me. But for the lens itself, it performs really, really well considering the price. Uh, at f2, yes, there is vignetting and it's quite strong, but by the time you reach f5.6, it, it tends to fade away. It's still there, but it tends to fade away. It's not nearly as strong and easily corrected. In this case, I edited all the images in Lightroom, uh, so it is easily corrected in that. By the time you reach f11, as expected, diffraction sets in. 
that again is one of the things that you've got to remember, you've got to take into consideration when you're shooting. My biggest concern with this lens, for me, and it could just be this lens, was lens flare. Now, I used it on an overcast day. Uh, for the images that you'll see here, I used it in an overcast day. I've shot inside with it, everything's fine. Even with controlled lighting, but everything's fine. But when I used it in an overcast day, most of the time, yes, I was shooting in the direction of the sun. And I got quite a bit of lens flare, as you can see. Now, that for me, I think is down to lens hood design. Certainly because of the price of the lens, the coatings may not be as good as the higher, more expensive lenses. But I did find that there was a lot of lens flare. And for me, standing with the camera, trying to take a shot, focusing in, getting lens flare, and then having to stand like this, even with IBIS on, I didn't find that uh, too useful for the lens. Uh, I do think it's a lens hood design though. I think that's what it is because as you see, the lens hood isn't that big. And most of the lens flare, as you can guess, comes in from these areas here. And even when I rotated this, when I loosened the lens cap and rotated it to cover it, what would happen, as expected, on the opposite side, a lens flare would come in. That's my biggest, not even concern, but that's my biggest complaint about the lens. And as you can see by the images, it's not too bad. But at the same time, it's something that would probably hinder quite a few shooting opportunities uh, for you. So I would think about that as well when you're going or looking at this lens. If you're currently using the higher end lenses just now, would I consider this? I, I'm, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to say no, I wouldn't because there are other lenses, manufacturer lenses and third party lenses that perform a lot better than this. They do, and that's again, that's to be expected. So, but for what you're getting with this, and at the price you're getting, it's really, really quite good. It actually exceeded what I thought it was going to do, to be totally honest with you. It did exceed what I was. Now, I haven't tried any other of the Meek lenses, and it's M E I K E. If I'm saying that wrong, I do apologise. Uh, but I haven't tried any of the others. So, when I'm talking about lens flare with this one, it could just, in particular, be this lens. I haven't, when I've looked at other reviews of the lens, I haven't really seen too much mention of that. So it could be this, just this particular lens. At the corners, yes, it's stretched. And again, more so than you would expect from the higher end lenses. But at the same time, it has a shallow focusing distance of 20 centimetres, which means you could easily stack an image if you wanted to do that as well and retain sharpness right at the edges. So again, it's worth taking a look at if you're just starting out. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I would if you're starting out in photography and if budget is a uh, factor, which is at every stage of photography, budget is a factor. Uh, if you were shooting professionally, would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't. And I'm, I'm going to be honest in that. Is it a fun lens to use? Yes, it really is. Uh, it was a fun lens to use and I'll continue to use it as well because there is elements within the lens that I've really enjoyed using. Yes, you get them with other lenses, but I've got to admit, it is nice, it's really, really nice to try different brands of lenses. And fortunately, I got to try this one by the kind courtesy of me to send this through for a video review. Uh, would I have tried it if they hadn't? I probably would, wouldn't. I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't, but I do like it. I do like it. There's something, I don't know, quirky about it. Uh, and that, that's, to me, that's the best way I could review this lens. I'm not going to, going to go into the uh, how many elements are in it or anything like that. It's usability, that's what it's down to for me. Uh, 
for everyone else as well. It's down to usability. Did it work for what I wanted? Yes, it did. And it worked great for what I wanted. Is it as sharp as other lenses that I've tried? No, it's not. But is it still sharp? Yes. Could you produce really good images with it? Yes, you could. So it has its pros and cons like every other lens. Hopefully in some way you found that review informative. As I say, it's not a technical review. I don't do technical reviews. Or I try to avoid technical reviews because I'm more of a hands-on person and other people understand everything about that better than me. Totally and utterly better than me. Uh, starting out, would I recommend that lens? Yes, I would. I would also say look at other brands as well to find out perhaps the focal distance that you maybe prefer. Meek do other lenses. They do 50mm. They do quite a few different other lenses. I can't remember off the top of my head how many they do. Uh, but if budget is a factor when starting out, and especially for, in this case, like wide angle or that, check them out. Definitely check them out. And I'll put a link below to their website so you can check out the different lenses that they have. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.